Hey everyone and welcome to the uh, inaugural Wannabe Kickboxer mini-series. Um, I want to do a little introduction just um, to teach you the inside of um, how Wannabe Kickboxer started. Um, so myself, um, I've been training at uh, the Boonshu Muay Thai Kickboxing Gym on the Gold Coast. Um, this has been my seventh year and I'm um, lucky enough to be here with um, John Wayne and Angie Parr. And um, once I started uh, competing in uh, Muay Thai myself, uh, at amateur level, I saw there was um, there could be a, a fairly big gap uh, in who people were fighting because we did um, see people with, with um, zero fights or one fight. Um, you know, people would match them, and what we we're finding is a lot of the fights were one-sided. And um, the meaning behind that was um, you saw um, trainers wouldn't wouldn't let on that they're they're person who had zero fights might have had um, 10 boxing fights or been training for five or six years where the other guy who had zero fights had been training for six months and we thought it was going to be a fair fight and then they jump in the ring and they get um, beat up pretty bad and, and um, they may not want to come back to the sport because they find it's too hard which is pretty frustrating for people like myself who, who love uh, Muay Thai kickboxing. So I thought, well, how about I do a, um, a challenge where, where everyone, it's like an introductory level to, to kickboxing and then Muay Thai where we get everyone together and they actually train for, um, for 10 weeks, five mornings a week and um, we teach them the technique, we teach them all the fitness and, um, and then we can actually monitor how they're going and, um, and at the end of the 10 weeks um, we can actually match them with someone else in the challenge that we know is going to be a fair fight. Okay, um, the, the weight ratio wasn't so much a, of, a, of a matter, it was more the fitness levels, um, you know, to the technique and power and, and then the weight and that sort of stuff. And, um, and we found that, yeah, after the first um, fight night, um, it really worked and everyone really loved it. Um, it was a really, really good success. And we found out pretty quickly that um, these challenges that come in and um, fought um, on a weekly basis when they were training, we were finding that we were teaching them a lot more than just um, kickboxing and Muay Thai. There was, um, you know, they were, we were finding it pretty quickly that they were here for a lot more than, um, than just to get fit. Um, you know, they were doing it there for their own personal reasons, whether, you know, they had some demons that they wanted to conquer um, or they had to be strong for someone else in their family. Um, we've had some amazing situations, um, you know, in the past that, that people have um, gone through the challenge. and. Um, and by the time they jumped over the ropes, they had um, they found the strength to, to conquer something else in this world, which is really awarding, um, rewarding for myself and um, the other trainers um, that are involved in winning kickboxing to see. So tonight you're just going to get a quick insight of um, what we're doing on a, on a weekly basis uh, in the challenge. Um, Tuesday was our first training session and you can imagine how nervous a lot of the challenges are as um, these people have never um, been uh, in a kickboxing gym before, uh, let alone um, ever thought of fighting. And um, so Tuesday, um, once we got everyone together, we uh, took a, um, some photography shots with Anthony Jackson and um, got them to weigh in, okay, and then um, we introduced them all to each other and then we just started doing some technique training. So Tuesday mornings is always technique, okay, it's, um, we always drill into these um, challenges that um, it's WBC sanctioned and they're always looking for technique to score. So um, it is like a bit of a chess game come fight night. And um, Wednesday morning, we have Lauren Newman, she's our strength and conditioning coach and um, she's putting in through the paces with all um, sport specific movements um, that's going to help um, build the strength for these challenges to um, jump over the ropes and do their best on, uh, on fight night. Um, also in the mini series this week um, you'll see Saturday mornings, okay, this is a sleep in for the challenges, they start at 7.30 and go till 9 o'clock and um, this will always be our sparring day but um, as you can imagine on the, on the first week we're not going to get these guys to start sparring straight away, we're just going to do drills that they've learned the techniques during the week, we chuck their punch equipment chin pads on them, uh, punch equipment gloves and uh, we just do some drills just to start to um, teach them the defensive moves uh, as well as attacking moves so we just started to, to really introduce um, the techniques to them so later down the track we can start opening up into a little bit more free sparring which will get them groomed um, for the big night on the 25th of March. So make sure you keep this space open at uh, 7 o'clock every Monday night as um, we're going to be um, showing the mini-series. We want you guys to um, give us back some um, input on how you think your friends and family are going, maybe who you think they are, um, who you want to see them fight at the end of the challenge as well. Let's get a bit of hype around that. Um, keep in mind that these guys are professional fighters. This is their, um, they're doing a 10-week challenge where they uh, haven't fought in the ring before. So keep that in mind. And um, as I said, they're here to, to lose a bit of weight or get fit or... Um, 
or build some confidence and strength for something else um, that they're lacking in their lives and um, this is a perfect challenge to do it. So let's get on board with these guys and, um, and really be thankful for how courageous they are and let them know. I'm just going to leave you um, with a couple of uh, clips of some of the previous uh, fight challenges that we've had um, on the night um, and let me know what you think of that as well. It's pretty cool watching these challenges do a 10 week fight challenge uh, and then fight at the end and um, it's amazing. So speak to you soon guys. We'll see you next Monday night um, as these challenges will be um, bigger and better um, for another week in the challenge. See you later. Um, I started the challenge 10 weeks ago. Before I started I was um, training, doing brilliant Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's been something that I've been working towards. Um, it's just kind of happened at the right time now. The tennis has been awesome, I've learned so much, we've come so far. When I look back to the first few weeks and how we were so scared of getting hit and turning away from the, the punches. and It was a struggle. Some days I couldn't get up, <laughs> but I always put, tried my best. You always feel so good after training, pumped up. I'm super nervous. I just, I'm dying on the inside. In the fight tonight, I think I'll do really well and try my best to just smash it.
Yeah, one move. That's it. Get it, get it. Yeah. 